Today we are at Pier 220 in Titusville. This is a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Everything right here on the ocean. Okay. I get confused if I said ocean or a lake or an inlet. But I think this is in the ocean. We got all kinds of parking. This is a great place for watching the rocket launches as well. So we're gonna head in and uh, we've been here before. This is definitely one of our favorite places. He found this by fluke because I wanted to go somewhere special um, to celebrate a memorial for my mom. So come join us. They have a ton of parking in the parking lot and the place is surrounded on all three sides by water. You can see the building straight ahead, which has the outdoor seating and indoor seating with a wraparound walkway. Once we get up here, we're gonna grab a beer and walk out through the pier. Cause if we eat first, then we decide that we're too full to walk the pier and it's too beautiful. Surrounded by water everywhere. Well, mostly everywhere. As you walk up, Pier 220 is in front of you. There's a little Veterans War Memorial over here to the left, right there, and some seating down there, like on some docks. That's really cool. We actually haven't ever ate down there. It's never open. And you got your Pier 220 sign here. You walk on up these steps, and to the right is a little bar area. Straight ahead in that white door is the indoor seating. We usually don't choose to sit indoors because we like the beautiful setup outside. So there's the bar and then straight ahead is where they have live entertainment on most nights of the week. It's usually pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and order ourselves some beer and then we're going to take you for a walk on the pier. And they look like they're setting up now. So you get the restrooms right there. Oh, we're gonna go that way. <laughs> Thank you. Go walk. Yep. Seating, and you can walk right around this building, clear out to this long pier. An inside seating here. A little busy in there today. It usually oh. is because all these people that come to Florida want to be inside the air conditioning instead of enjoying the beautiful weather. Right? So you can walk the whole way around and there's more seating out there which is where the music is. There's actually another pier down there that people fish off of. I said that's a great view. Straight over there is where they launch the rockets. Kennedy Space Center right there, that big building. Yeah, that's it. Kennedy Space Center. He's the brains. I'm just the, the camera operator. There goes a dragonfly. So it's a great view. I see a dolphin out there. And this is technically the river. It's not really the ocean, but it's real close to the ocean. It's water. <laughs> to me, that's all I care. It's a beautiful day, a little overcast, so it's not super sunny. Nice breeze. There's more dragonflies. Oh, he almost landed right on us. People fish from here too. Please. I had to make sure to look like a tourist today. <laughs> Just wearing the cats out. <laughs> yes, it is a very relaxing place. The food is we have never, ever been disappointed. The service is spectacular. They are very, very attentive. The prices are really good. Live music pretty much every time. Hey, little buddy. Nice to watch the boats go by and buy food or you can catch your own. <laughs> 
Oh, these love books are everywhere. They love you. They love me? I love bugs. <laughs> I think they're confused. I'm not a bug. Oh, look, there they are, right on me. Hey, they're they're, really crazy. They are crazy today. Get out here to the end of the pier. There's benches along the way, and there used to be a lot of picnic tables out here, but it looks like only one now. They had some benches out here too, but only one. Oh, no. oh. oh look at Mac. There's a there's the restaurant. There's some crab balls. So hopefully you can hear us pretty good, but Yo! looking around. Somebody lost their little crabby claws. Watching the boat. Look how beautiful this is. You can't imagine it just what two days ago Hurricane Helene had come through. And now it's nice and beautiful. There's any other boats though. That's okay. It still came through Florida. It was all the counties except for six that had some kind of watcher warning, so it's good. Usually you can see some dolphins in here. I've saw one today. I don't know where it is now. It's like just a very nice, peaceful, very serene area to come sit and visit and have some amazing food and just enjoy some water life. That's what we like. We like to sit outdoors and not shelter in inside and eat. It's less crowded and less busy to sit outside. This place is also pet friendly. As you could see, we brought all of our cats with us. So it's very pet friendly. Oh, wait, it actually is pet friendly. There's usually dogs here. Heck, we didn't even plan this. That's what happened the first time we came over. But if you can see here, it looks like there's actually gonna be a launch in about four minutes. So we might actually get lucky and be able to see a launch today. They'll probably cancel it. Probably. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if we can catch this. We have less than a minute. Nope, there was a dolphin. You probably didn't catch that. It was, it, I had it on the camera, but it was real far away. So let's see if we can catch this rocket launch and get a little bit of a video anyhow. Not sure. We should be able to see the thrust. There's a couple different launch pads over there, so I'm not sure which launch pad exactly.
aren't recording. I can't. I can't even see it, but hopefully I can see it. I saw it in my eyes. It's above that. That's a tarpon. I am not afraid of cutting. Catching a tarpon. It's over there somewhere. It just went above the bridge. There it goes. Into the clouds. up that rumble because that's pretty awesome we can see rocket launches from our house pretty good pretty much every time they go off as long as the weather is good but you don't get that sound that is just awesome all right so we saw the rocket launch we're gonna head back up here and see if we can get a table outside somewhere just walked a little pier oh little birdie Surprised it wasn't as busy with that rocket launch. I figured this would be busy. We didn't even know. <laughs> I just think it's funny. That's twice that we stopped within five minutes of the launch. Yeah. That other time. I'm just following this bird. Oh, I'm not going to follow you up there, buddy. This is the place where. I'm pretty sure at the other side of this bridge is where we stopped at last time. Yeah, I think so. When we were going on that wildlife drive. Yep. This place has the best tuna ahi and fresh made wasabi. We asked the waitress one night when we came over here for extra wasabi and she said that they make it fresh and they fight over who has to make it because it makes them cry when they make it. We're hoping now that the rocket went off, maybe there's a table up here outside. Look, look. Oh, look, what the yeah. heck? The booster just came back down. I guess that's what it was, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's not something they didn't used to do that. Oh look, we got a table, babe. Sweet. We always seem to get lucky, so this is awesome. And this is the rest of the other side here. I'm gonna sit over here. Excuse me, Mr. Bird. You got the live music and the other side of the bar here. Pretty cool sign over here too. Funny. Different things going on. So here we are, Pier 220 Seafood and Grill in Titusville, Florida. You almost said Pennsylvania. I did. How did you know that? I did almost say Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's kind of like you're not in Kansas anymore. I'm not in Pennsylvania anymore. I've been here for over five years. 
Yeah, over five years. Still always want to say Pennsylvania. I was putting people's yeah. I was putting people's information into the to the system the other day for the HR stuff, and and all the employee numbers were Pennsylvania zip codes. <laughs> so that's probably where my mind was. So here we are, Pier 220 Seafood and Grill. They got a lot of historical Titusville fishing pier facts. Um, We'll take a look inside. Hopefully it'll be less busy. I think it, if I remember right, it was um, not Liam Neeson, um, Robert De Niro. There's a big article on the wall, I think, about Robert De Niro. I, I could be wrong, but we'll take a look at it when we, when we finish up here. We have our specialty cocktails, uh, wines by the glass, beers by the can, and draft beers. We have the appetizers. Um, like I said, we've had the ahi tuna. It is by far the best, but what makes it the best is their homemade wasabi. It's not a cream sauce, it's a true wasabi sauce. And then we like the caprice. So we'll probably get both of those. They've got soups and beverages, and they have the salads. burgers and sandwiches, we've got platters, we've got tacos, I think uh, Scott's gotten the tacos here before, they have the pasta, which I know for sure we've had the blackened chicken alfredo pasta and it is scrum diddlyumptious for sure, we've got the entrees, you've got your desserts, your key lime pies, pineapple princess, coconut cake, mango guava cheesecake and the tuxedo bombs. I've gotten the key lime pie and it's very good. You got all your sides. Of course you can ask the waitress or you can go inside and you can get some souvenirs. And then we got our specials and more about it. And that's it. And more beer. Right. A little bird up top and a little bird on the bottom. Look at the top. He's, look at him. He's like drinking the water off the table. Like Scott said, maybe it's beer and he's going to wobble out of here. Who knows? But he's, he's a little bit thirsty for some reason. Don't hang around and try to steal your fries. They don't get on your table. They don't bother you. But they're just entertaining to watch. They also have a lot of gluten-free options. One of the other appetizers that we've gotten before is the Caribbean wings and they're really good as well. Like I said, there is nothing here that we haven't had that isn't good. Ahi tuna with the soy sauce and extra wasabi done to perfection. And then I say caprice salad, but I guess it's caprese salad. I guess I'm not fancy, but it's Capri salad to me. Fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, balsamic vinegar dressing. These are absolutely amazing. This one's mine. All right, this one's mine then. <laughs> The so here we go. Tunahi, wasabi. Mm. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? That's amazing. Oh. Bobby's got such a bite. That's scary good. What do you think? Yes, scary good. Some of the caprese. Get ya! It is. It's so good, though. It was 
Bobby makes you cry, then it's the best you had. <laughs> This is definitely the best. I wish we could buy it and take it home. He didn't see that one. <laughs> I let you cut it and then I take half of it. So good. And what more could you ask for to sit outside in this gorgeous Florida weather? Nice breeze, perfect temperature, in the shade, with this beautiful atmosphere and some nice music. Good so far? Great. This little fella is really hungry. He keeps squawking and squawking this little common crackle. Inside, of course, because it rained. We got a nice little yeah. Very busy inside as well. And it was Robert De Niro. Actually, for once, I was right. There's a little Robert De Niro. Some of the fancy shirts that you can get. already ordered our food but with the rain we asked them to box it up i got the fish and chips with some coleslaw and he got the blackened chicken tacos we're already full from the caprese salad and the tuna ahi so we're just going to take this home to eat it oh yeah and i had to get some key lime pie the food is good portions good sizes excellent always always satisfies and the scenery is just amazing. So if you haven't ever checked out Pier 220, head on over to Titusville and you might want to try that out. My fish and chips was excellent, warmed up in the air fryer, just as if we had had it right at the restaurant. The coleslaw isn't like a real sweet coleslaw and it's more chunky, but very delicious. His tacos were really good. They could have been a little more blackened, but they were really good. And they were not even bad cold. He decided not to heat them up. And you can't go wrong with this key lime pie that's not too sweet and a little tart. <laughs> 